Hi folks, uh, welcome to Laws 51952. This is the Offender Management Module. So this is a core module for students on the Criminology and Offender Management pathway. Um, what we do in this module is we, this is like a foundation module, which discusses offender management uh, holistically. That means all different types of offender management. So mainly we're going to deal with people sentenced to the court and are given either a custodial sentence or they're given a sentence in the community that requires them to be supervised by the criminal justice agencies. Uh, a very popular module which concludes with a role play assessment and a report to write. So it's very practical, it's very much designed to provide you with uh, an enhanced employability experience. Uh, I would actually say dozens of students now have taken this module in the past and have gone straight into offender management roles, either in the probation service or in dedicated offender management units, working as caseworkers, um, public protection uh, operators, uh, tagging, all sorts of roles that involve monitoring, managing, and even sort of administering people who've been convicted of offences. So just briefly then, we start off with an introduction uh, and I'll explain a little bit about the assessment. Then we move on to integrated offender management, which is, that's the first, going to be one of the first lectures we talk about how offenders are managed in the community initially, um, before moving on to uh, offender management in custody, I think, people actually go into prison and how they manage their uh, and then with the pums and the cons so prison offender managers and community offender managers uh, community uh, sort of activities within the community then the probation service and also companies that are sort of subcontracted by the probation service or by the ministry of justice to provide interventions for prisoners and to keep them on probation so it's for those of you who are on, on a custom or not used to this, you will be uh, surprised to see how many different jobs, how many lines of employment, different types of things you can do within the offender management um, milieu. So we're not just talking about, when this first started, originally, this was designed for prison officers. That was in 2011. We're fast forwarding time to 2024, uh, it's changed completely, and now we focus more on this degree and this pathway on all areas of offender management. Many students, or most of my students, have gone on to be offender managers um, that are not, that not prison officers. Only a small uh, number of students have become prison officers. Many have become offender managers and probation officers. Many have um, worked with youth offender services, youth services or the council uh, or for the Ministry of Justice. So this is a very effective module to prepare yourself for the world of work in the justice sector. Uh, we've got the assessment which is very lifelike in which you will be dealing with a situation where somebody is either released from prison or sentenced to a community sentence, either a community service order or a suspended sentence order. Um, or some form of order in the community which requires you to supervise them, look at the license conditions to monitor them. Uh, so it's very practical, it's very realistic. Uh, there is obviously there are academic theories, uh, books and academic theories that support the practical side of things. So it's a combination of practical and academic. The, the books that are on Blackboard, they're digital books, and you can obviously buy the book yourself the hard copy or some copies of the library but obviously there's one of the books very expensive book the Routledge Companion uh, a really quite a significant book in a tome which contains all the up-to-date information about um, prison defender management rehabilitation the desistance theory so there's a lot to go out I'm going to make this live 
There's a couple of lectures live already. I'm updating some of the others because this topic, it changes every time we have a new government, every time we have new processes coming in or something happens with budgets or there's been a serious further offence committed by somebody on probation, there's reviews and things have changed. So it's constantly updated. Uh, I'm very confident that you'll enjoy this. What I will say though, I will say this, and this is not to put people off, this is a this is not like a module with the public coming up. Like a mainstream criminology degree. You're gonna have a lecture, you're gonna have a bit of a workshop, you're gonna talk about some theories, you're gonna have things that are like academic in relation to you know this theory is this theory. This is not that. This is a module for people, mainly for people who are more interested in the application of criminological theories in the way that it actually happens, say in Stoke or in Stafford, or in Staffordshire. You know, what does happen to people when they go, when they get sentenced to court, they go to prison, or they go or on, on probation, or they're subject to some orders. It's about that, you know, different courses, different interventions that go on, what are the procedures. So it's, and obviously it's a wrong play. So if you're nervous, then you either, you're going to have to change onto a different module or you accept that you're going to have to interview somebody or deal with a person. You can have some practice. But if that's not for you, if you don't like the practical side of this subject matter, then you can, you, you've got, like, for the first two weeks, you can then swap onto a module that's like a mainstream module, you know, that's where you're just going to get a lecture and a workshop and you're going to talk about some theories and some of the things of coursework. You can do that. Only go on to this module if you're prepared, i.e. to attend, b. for some trips to prisons, and c. you're prepared to deal with people that are going to be real people coming in and you've got to deal with them. It's practical. Okay, uh, with that said, there will be a trip to HMP Stafford, which is for people convicted of sexual offences. Uh, we'll be leaving at 9 o'clock on Wednesday morning of Welcome Week, which is the 21st. And we'll go into the prison for a guided tour and um, spend, spend the day, well, the, the most of well, the morning and some of the afternoon in the prison with prison staff looking at different aspects of prison life. Um, so that's the first, we kick straight off with that in Welcome Week and get a flavour of where the offender management pathway is going. Uh, and it will give you an idea of what it's like to be in a real prison, what it's like to speak to prison officers and see prisoners, and the feel of the place. Stafford's an old prison, the oldest prisons have gone, they're modified a bit. But um, now it's, it's, it's solid for people convicted of sexual offences. Uh, so hopefully people will enjoy that trip. Employability, um, supported by academic books, reading, and information from government sources such as um, policy frameworks and instructions that are, it's like black letter law, that is what it is. It's not so theoretical, it's like this is how a prison must be treated, this is what an adjudication is, uh, this is what a, a license condition is, this is what a probation service officer can do and can't do. So that's that's what it is. Hopefully that's like I said, explained it.